Okay, so today's video is going to be a little different. Uh, normally, I'm a VR gamer, and that's what my channel is, but I'm also a console gamer, as you can see. Got all the different systems. And anyone with a PS5, or looking into getting a PS5, may have noticed that, for whatever reason, Sony decided not to include the optical audio out, which means no more Toslink, which is fine if you're just using your TV or a soundbar or a home theater system with an HDMI audio pass-through kind of thing. Uh, but not so fine if you're using something like the Logitech Z906, which are technically computer speakers, but are also good as a budget home theater. And, for some reason, have every other um, audio port except for HDMI. So, if that's the case, or if you have some other similar setup, what you're going to need is one of these. Because most TVs don't do audio conversion that well. And what you can do is run your HDMI to the TV, and if your TV supports it, run a uh, optical cable from the TV to the speakers. But the problem is you don't get the full 5.1 effect, or you get some pretty heavy audio lag somewhere in the conversion, be that on the PlayStation or the TV when you switch it to, like, Bitstream or something. So, what this does, and this you can just find on Amazon, this takes the HDMI signal, and it passes the video through, of course, and it does um, 4K, um, but not HDR for some reason, but it does do 4K. And it grabs the audio and converts it to the analog signal. So this does five, uh, 7.1, but I just don't have that fourth cable. Ignore that, you know, fire hazard waiting down there. Um, so I've just got the front right and left, center and base, and then rear right and left. The catch is, with the rear right and left, or not the, with the base and center, it's swapped for some reason. I don't know if that's on this or if it's on the speakers. I think it might be the speakers though, because when I had these hooked to my computer before, um, a little checkbox came up asking if I wanted to swap the channels and that made everything sound right. So, you know, that's fine, but we don't have that here. So what you're gonna need is a couple little adapters. I'm gonna plug this from there. So what this is doing it's taking the signal, splitting it into separate right and left channels, and then what I've done is plugged, you know, right into left and left into right, so they merge back up here, and now they're swapped on this end, which means they're the correct channels. And so there, that's that's the solution. It'll run you maybe 50 bucks. I think this was like 28 30 you know, some, somewhere around there, $30. And then these little adapters were like $5 each. Um, so, you know, with shipping and all that, might be run you under 50 bucks, somewhere around there. All right, so as a demonstration here, I've got Spider-Man, uh, Miles Morales. And this is just with... This is what it would be like if you passed HDMI to your... TV and then for, with the toss link down to your speakers, right? You're getting no lag, no audio latency, but you're not really getting surround sound. Um, you're getting the sort of matrix sound that they call it, which is that's what this is, and then that switches to quadraphonic, which is just your four speakers without the center, and then that's just your stereo, your two front speakers, but you don't get the raw 5.1. And this is with Bitstream enabled. So this is set to Bitstream uh, Dolby. So as you can see, the, little, the, the Dolby light is on. So we're in that mode and I can't switch. You're so really we are getting hmm. full 5.1. Um, you know, the voices are in the center. The environment is in the surround. However, There's some significant audio lag there. 
so if you're playing a shooter or something like this spider-man or um like especially astro's playroom where it takes heavy use of the controller speaker and this does too but you can't really hear it um at least i don't think you can hear it because it's quiet but you can especially tell when games take advantage of the controller speaker um because the the audio that you get from the system is pretty far behind the controller and lastly this is the preferred way of doing things this is 5.1 but it's just the raw six channel lpcm as you can see the dolby lights not on so we're not using that it's not any of the um effects it's just the raw the the first channel here which is the six channel audio coming from this and everything's happening right every all the channels and as you can see no lag no audio latency which is nice so that uh, pretty much concludes this video you can be invisible um, whenever I sure can be invisible whenever see spoilers um but no that's uh that's it for this it, look look up if you're looking for the thing on Amazon just look up something like uh, HDMI to analog converter or digital to analog audio converter or something like that something with 5.1 or 7.1 in the title and you should find this that's how I found it um, the only other thing like if you google it the only other thing I was able to find was some really hey, sketchy like Russian I thing um that like even the the name of the product was all in russian so i wouldn't go for that but yeah for a good price not bad anyway that's all see you later